Hey, my name's Chris, and I'm an engineer here at National Instruments. Today, I'm going to show you how to use clusters in LabVIEW. So if you're familiar with arrays, arrays are good for grouping elements of the same data type. Clusters are good for grouping elements of multiple data types. So we're going to go ahead and switch over to LabVIEW here, and you'll see on my block diagram and front panel, I've got several different data types, uh, both controls and indicators. I've got two strings for first name and last name. I've got a numeric for the age and a boolean for the sex. So using a cluster, we can group all of these data types together and actually group all the wires into a single wire. So on my front panel, I'm going to right click and go to the array matrix and cluster palette and add a cluster shell. And so let's make that a little bit bigger. And now we're going to add all of my different uh, data types here into the cluster. And so now you'll see on the block diagram, let me clear those broken wires, now we only have one terminal that corresponds to all of my different controls. And so now to extract all the elements from the cluster, I can right click on the block diagram and you'll see there's a cluster palette and we can use the unbundle function to extract all the elements. So we'll wire uh, the cluster up and you'll see now there's only a single wire just for all of those data types. And now to extract them, uh, we'll just wire them up to our original indicators. And so now when I run the VI, you can see all of the uh, elements from my original cluster are transferred over and output on the indicators. So we also have a couple other functions on our cluster palette. We can also use the bundle function to create a cluster on the block diagram. And then we also have a unbundle by name function. And using the unbundle by name function, we can actually extract a single value from our cluster. So I can expand it and uh, extract all the elements, or if I just want a single element, in this case, we'll select just the age and then create a new indicator off of that. And so on the cluster palette, I also have this bundle by name function. And similar to the unbundle by name function, um, in this case, I can change a single element in the bundle. So we're going to wire up the original cluster and you can see now I have all the elements that I can actually change if I want to. Uh, in this case, let's just change the age. And so we're going to wire up a control for the new age. And now instead we're going to take the output of that bundle my name function and output it to our original unbundle function. So now what should happen, my original cluster has the age of 52, but we've also used the bundle by name function to change the age to zero. So the age should show for zero on both my indicator from the unbundle function and the indicator for the unbundle by name function. So when I hit run, you can see I've changed the age from zero and it's displayed on both indicators. And so that's how you use clusters in LabVIEW.